Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another Ray Challenges video on the free to play again today to showcase something different. I'll show you guys my team, which I use to now reach Platinum Arena. You guys know the whole deal with the arena if you don't know it so far. Let me just get into Platinum just to show what happens um, in, in Gold 5 or in any Gold tier at the moment. You just blindly climb up with no real issues. And uh, look at that. I'm two points away from Platinum. Let me just do the celebration of uh, two more rating by beating this Arbiter. I hope it's not like a, a critical damage Arbiter or something and just totally destroys my team. But uh, look at that. We're pushing and we're going to get Aethel to nuke eventually. Uh, the enemy Arbiter took like three turns against the one turn my... Uh, <laughs> look at that. Amazing. We're in flat officially. Look at that. Look at that, free to brew in Platinum Maria. I never, uh, I never dreamt of this moment ever in my, uh, you know, life of playing a free to play account. Let me just save this to the desktop. This is gonna be a really nice, um, really nice thumbnail. All right. So now we're into Platinum Arena. Obviously, we cannot beat another team. But what I've done to get to here is what everybody is doing at the moment. Is just pushing as those single person defenses. People place their single person defense and. Because there is a limit of defense losses at the moment of 15 losses. Look at that. 15 losses. Actually can't see them all. I even have some wins. People are just, uh, I guess, surrendering here. And uh, just look at my attack log. Because I did not refresh the game. I did not close the game. I think we can see like almost all of the attacks that I've done today. Even some Paragon teams. I use like a stun set to beat those. So there's no issue regardless of their uh, resistance. There is some single person defenses that I lost to because... They're just too powerful for my whole team. And then uh, look at that. Look at all these single person defenses that I fought today. Uh, I've been doing refreshes, by the way, using some gems. Look at all those fights. And, and I did it on purpose because I wanted to, to make this video specifically. Otherwise, I would have just waited for the 15 minutes refresh and just do the normal amount of fights per day that I, uh, that I was supposed to do. And now that I refresh... Like, I don't see a single one-person defense. I don't think because I'm into Platinum. Um, I think it's just sometimes it's very random on who you're going to see in defense. And I should be kicked out of Platinum very quickly. So, look at all that that I've done. There's one person here which I'm uh, it's probably going to destroy me. That Leorio is the same thing with Ignatius. Probably going to get wrecked by Ignatius. But let, let's just have a look and see. Look at that. Look at the Plat Arena. Uh, and boom, defense down, and we get a win, and we actually get five medals now. We even climbed up. I wonder what kind of rating I'm at at the moment. I'm at 360 uh, in terms of plat, and uh, can we beat this, Leorius? I'm going to try it. So the, the point of this video was, wasn't to brag, really, or anything. It's just a fun video. Anybody can do this. During the week, look at that. We even beat Leorius, another five medals right there. And we probably jumped to, uh, we stayed at 360, right? <laughs> that's, that's still cool. Uh, people can actually attack us now. We'll be able to lose ratings. So throughout the video, I'll probably drop back to gold five, which is fine with me. But the point of this video was just to bring um, awareness to how the arena is. I don't think that an account such as mine with 90,000 power uh, on offense should be able to be in gold five or even platinum arena at any point. Um, I think gold five should be strictly to people who actually finish the missions, even who finished Romantu because Romantu brings in other stuff in terms of an offensive team. My uh, my whole point is that this has to change in the sense of the Great Hall improvements and the missions to get Arbiter. The missions to get Arbiter have been changed in the sense that you need to do 200 wins now instead, uh, I think, of what it was to be in gold four. In the past, you need to do 200 wins in gold arena to get these missions done that's that's easy enough you'll eventually do it the biggest problem is completing the great hall and the great hall should be fixed in the sense that it should no longer be an arena only uh grind okay the game has this this thing designed this part of the game designed for more than three years now and it, more than three years they keep some things the same the, the way that the fusions happen uh, we have the same kind of events. There's no mix of events uh, like do different things that we used to do before. Um, so let's say use a specific team in a specific area to get, let's say, a fragment for a champion or use some creativity at all. 
um, things have been stagnant in that sense. That's why I think people have been slowly losing their interest with raid when stuff like the arena happens and it's difficult to farm. You have these weird systems which actually make people who actually want to get into platinum not want to play anymore. All of these things together create a negativity within the whole community. And I think the Great Hall needs to be something that is addressed in the sense that you should have every single part of the game contribute to yourself actually getting the Great Hall uh, bonuses leveled up. The bonuses should be leveled up quicker than it was before because now the bonuses actually make sense. Now you actually need to have a level 10 of accuracy and resistance to be able um, to comfortably, I would say, complete uh, the, um, the, the, the hard version of the Doom Tower and to actually comfortably compete in the Hydra. Even the Hydra is getting addressed in the future. We don't know the exact details of how that will be addressed, but the Great Hole bonuses need to be different in the way that you level them up it should be quicker than it was before you shouldn't have to be stuck in there and, and use so many gems in arena to do this to get the great hole bonus level a then to level nine getting a thousand medals not that easy and i'm not talking about farming the single person defenses that shouldn't even exist within the game it's just bad design all right it's bad design the whole point is fighting real people with real defenses. Defenses should give you actual medals, so you you actually have to think on how you put your defense. Offense battles should give you medals. Winning streaks should give you more medals. Bonus Bonuses of beating a team, let's say, with higher power should give you even more medals. There's so many things that they can do to the game to make it better, but they're, um, they're like a horse in a race. I don't know how it's called, uh, where, where the horse is supposed to run straight. And doesn't have is not allowed to look left or right, right? That's how they are with many parts of the get the game. They don't listen to feedback and they don't listen to creative ideas that players like me, who have more than three years of experience playing their game every single day, doing multiple accounts, doing multiple takeovers, different different views. Uh, when when I'm on a takeover, I, I view the account and how everything has to be progressed through differently. And they just don't listen to it. Um, I, and I think Great Hole is one of the parts that needs to be addressed and fixed. That's going to help make the game a, a better area. Other stuff would be like quality of life changes that make the game less uh, time intensive compared to what it was before. I, I know that they introduced the super raids, but super raids are not 100% of the time there. It shouldn't be even a, 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 a an event right here. It should be always available. The same thing with this one. Because they don't know how to fix this one. They have it go for 22 more weeks. Because they just don't know the answer to how to fix this. It's just an inherent problem with their coding is I'm guessing. Which is probably like spaghetti code. That they did three years ago. More than three years ago. Arena has to be fixed. Clan boss is I guess fine. Because we've, we've done the clan boss for three years. We've made like a thousand teams as a community uh, a, a thousand different teams the hydra will be fixed or made easier but their plans for the future like this part right here and i i'm guessing this part right here with arena which is going to be something in the future before you introduce those platinum if you are watching this video you need to address everything else make things less time intensive so players can actually enjoy using their account in other parts and especially hydra which is supposed to be now the only area where you know you can actually go in there and do a manual fight if people had more free time during the day i think they would have spent more time actually doing multiple runs instead of just doing an auto run and say okay whatever i'm gonna get whatever um amount of damage i can get and that's it i'm not gonna spend you know 10 hours a day uh leaving the fight and then going back in leaving the fight and then going back in right this was my rant, and the, the part of this rant was actually getting it to Platarina. And I'm actually out of Platarina right now. I got uh, probably attacked by how many teams? Let me see. One, two, three, four teams. Boom. Immediately, they saw the uh, one-person defense in Arena. They attacked it. I knew this was going to happen, but I, I don't really care. I'm going to try and farm uh, gold five and get my gold me medals now that I can. Uh, it, it involves a lot of refreshing and using my gems, but as a free-to-play account, this is the best chance I have to get those great hole bonuses at the moment, or else I'll I'll be dropping back to, to gold one. Um, it is what it is, and until they fix it, 
I guess we don't have another choice, right? This was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understood what I'm trying to say throughout the video. Sometimes I rant a little bit too fast or I talk a little bit too fast. I apologize if if that's uh, that's the case. Uh, thank you, though, for subscribing to the channel and being here supporting the channel with your views every single day. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.